vehicles pitching downrange. A grand takeoff. Max Q. Ship engine There's startup. Both engines cut off. And a spectacular landing. This was SpaceX's enormous rocket Starship's boldest test flight yet. Happy Easter. In its fifth Starship test flight on Sunday, SpaceX returned the rocket's towering first-stage booster back to its Texas launch pad for the first time using giant metal arms. Achieving another novel engineering feat in the company's push to build a reusable Moon and Mars vehicle. A day for the engineering history books. The rocket's first stage super heavy booster lifted off at 7.25 a.m. Central Time from SpaceX's Boca Chica, Texas launch facility. Sending the Starship's second stage rocket towards space before separating at an altitude of roughly 70 kilometers to begin its return to land. So incredible to see these views. You With its engines roaring, the 233-foot-tall Super Heavy booster fell into the launch tower's arm, dubbed Mechazilla by Elon Musk. Hooking itself in place by its four forward grid fins, it used to steer itself through the air. The novel catch landing method, called the chopsticks maneuver, is the latest advance in SpaceX's test to failure development campaign for a fully reusable rocket designed to loft more cargo into orbit, ferry humans to the moon for NASA, and eventually reach Mars, the ultimate destination envisioned by CEO Elon Musk. Starship, first unveiled by Musk in 2017, has exploded several times in various stages of testing on past flights but successfully completed a full flight in June for the Back first time. Ship engine start up. Both engines cut off. <laughs>